Today I have for you the Vantage AC5X from Wild Game Innovations. It's a 5 megapixel camera that films HD video as well as stills, still shots. The, uh, I've stumbled across this camera when I was looking for point of view cameras to replace my uh, existing one for my competition shooting channel, uh, Nick Taylor uh, 00. But, um, so I ended up getting a couple of them and this is one of them. I also feel that I can probably use this for hunting so that's why I'm posting it here. I'll probably do a cross pollination later on onto the uh, the Nick Taylor channel but um, I felt that this was worthy enough to show you guys here on the uh, my hunting channel but basically it's a video camera that does stills it does burst mode for the here let me push the button so we can get that display to come back on it's got a nice little display tells you the time date and uh, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more All right. Yeah, so it tells the time, the date, and the battery level up here on the on the corner. Um, the mode you can do video or still shots. The video modes we got HD and we have wide VGA. Still, you can do normal. There's rapid, and then three, six, and nine. And the LCD times out for saving batteries. So I'm just going to press another button to do that. The zoom on this unlike some of the other uh, point of view or first person cameras I checked out this one actually has a zoom so it's pretty cool um, I got it set to none right now and it shows a real wide angle a wide field of view but you can do 2, 3 and 4x and I'll show some of those examples of what it looks like here in a moment but um, then you can delete your your pictures obviously by the number or by all it tells you how many videos you have on there how many stills and the time remaining on your card. So let me back this out. Another one of the things I really liked about this when I saw it was it also had night vision. So here on the front you can see the the LEDs around the the lens. Those are the IR LEDs and inside when it automatically clicks to night vision so there's nothing you can do about that. So if it's dark and it wants night vision it's going to turn it on and you can hear it click from regular vision to night vision and you can hear the little the little uh, UV filter either turn out of the way or get in the way it's mechanical in there so I'm not sure this is going to work on a rifle for recoil with that so with some moving parts in there the controls on it it's the power button right here a little bit of a menu uh, these are for navigating the menus and this is your record button right here on the top so you press this to record. Wow, well, just woke it up basically, but now we're recording. You see the time on there. Move it up so we can take a look at that. And uh, then we'll press the record button to stop again. But, uh, oh, I don't have any memory cards in there, so why it's not doing that. Let's go to the back, take a look at the memory card. So here on the back, you have a, a green LED that flashes, tells you that it's recording. And on the back side here, let me turn it off. I'll press the power button and now we're off. It has a lithium battery in here, looks like a cell phone battery. It's kind of a cheesy way of putting it in there, but it seems to be functional. I mean, it looks exactly like a cell phone battery. It looks like a typical Nokia battery, to tell you the truth. But it uh, has a USB interface, the mini USB, and a micro SD card, or a trans flash card, depending on uh, what you're used to. Um, it doesn't come with a card, at least mine didn't. The uh, this little port back here, I believe, is for a mic. I'll have to check the man. I feel pretty stupid on that one. I had to look at the instruction manual on that. But um, the microphone on this, I'm not exactly sure where the mic hole is, but the audio on this is not very good. So if you're going to be talking, it's not really going to pick it up. At least it wasn't for me. Let me show you what came with this camera. Of course we get the instruction manual, the typical instruction manual. Warranty card, USB cable, just your typical USB cable. I've got tons of these laying around. There is a, a strap, a rubberized strap for mounting to something, maybe a helmet, uh, I forget what they call this, but you got a strap here with rubber, with rubber belt, and then you also have one 
that is uh, Velcro, so if you decide to take the rubber off, you can use this one instead. And then next, this is one of the things that got me. It had so many mounts. A little tripod mount. I mean, this is kind of cool. The camera itself just slaps onto that, and you're locked into place. You can set it up. It detaches real easy, just comes right off like that. So we have a tripod, a tree mount, so you could screw this into your tree if you're sitting in your tree stand. Put it on, and you're ready to go. Take it off. It also has another mount that comes that you can latch onto the bill of your hat and turn it around. It's it's backwards right now, but there we go. So yeah, you can just lock this under your hat and uh, video. This is what I was going to use it with for uh, the competition shooting, but. It, it's, it rides up too high for me to get the point of view that I really want for that. And um, it also comes with a weather case, a little rubber O-ring around here, and it just pops right in here, and you can see the buttons line up for the outside of the case. So now, if your weather is bad, you're shooting in inclement weather, you can put it in this little plastic case that comes with it, and then you can mount it in the mount and there you go you can still film I recommend cleaning that make sure it's clean I've seen other people on YouTube film with this and the audio is even worse when you're using this plastic case obviously because you can't get to the microphone but uh, with all these extra extras that came with it it was well worth the price of about 120 bucks and it varies depending on where you get it but um, I bought it online if you do a search on the model number and I think it might be branded differently for, um, you know, this might be a generic camera where other companies just put their own brand on it and call it good. So if you do a search on this particular one, the AC5X, you should find a long laundry list of shopping places for it. If you're not uh, interested or if you're not familiar with the micro SD or the trans flash card, this is it. It's about the size of your fingernail. The one I'm using here is 4G or four gigabits and then if you're like every, most everyone else that use uh, SD cards there's an adapter that you can buy for this so now you can use this in your micro SD slots you know, either on your laptop or your adapter cards what have you but you know this this works real nice these are a little bit more expensive than your typical SD cards but you know a lot of these micro cameras these small cameras are going to this so this, you, you should get a couple of those if you end up buying yourself one of these cameras or something like it. One thing with these micro SDs is they can be kind of tricky to put in here, especially if you have fat fingers or it's cold, you know, in, in the type of environment I plan on using this, hunting. So you, you might need to have yourself a little tool with it, something small to poke it with, because it fits right in that little slot right there and it's spring loaded so you have to depress it beyond the base or beyond the surface to make it click and now it's stayed in there so then to get it out you just press on it using your fingernail if you can and it should pop right back out spring loaded again so keep that in mind if you're going to be out in the field thick gloves snow whatever you might lose this and looking through the instruction manual i see no reference to what this is um, at best, I, I'm going to suspect it's probably a, uh, a, uh, a microphone for an external mic, which kind of surprises me for an inexpensive camera like this. Most cameras that come with an external microphone are much more expensive. Um, qu video quality for this is not bad for what it is. And uh, like I said, I'll roll some in here in just a moment and you can check that out. So we're going to test the night vision mode. So I'm inside the house, lights are on, I'm going to go outside, and it should transition to night mode. There we go. You can hear the filter uh, get turned off or moved out of the way, if you will. So standing right here, all the way at that shed over there is about 20 yards.
take a look at the night sky. See the moon up there. Trees. The apartment complex in the background. There's a little toy poodle of some kind of pug or something barking in the background. I'm not sure if the audio is actually going to pick that up. Got a hammock right here. Anyways, that is the night mode.